Welcome back everyone to more gameplay of NR2003. And I am extremely happy to be saying that once again. It's been way too long since I was able to do any racing on the PC. Now, any time without racing on the PC, quite frankly, is too long. But with all the pedal issues I've been having, that final video we did together was pretty much the final straw for me. The pedals were acting up so badly and I had done pretty much as much as I could uh, to prolong their life. So I went ahead, ordered new pedals. They have arrived. I've had a little bit of time to get them set up and, and do a few test races here and there and some practice sessions, uh, along with some other things that I'm working for, uh, working toward in the future on the channel. But so far, so good. I decided to go with the Fnatic V3 pedals because of all the quality pedal sets available for sim racing, they are the most affordable for me right now, which made them by far the best choice. So Fnatic V3, now there are huge differences between the new Fnatic V3 pedals I have and the previous Logitech G920 pedal sets. So many differences. In fact, it's night and day, essentially, the difference between the two pedal sets. As you would expect, uh, the materials are very different. We got plastic pedals from Logitech, we have metal. So the design, the, the layout, everything is just better. The resolution is so much better, giving you much finer control with the Fnatic pedals. And one of the bigger differences is now I'm back to a load cell break. Uh, before with the Logitech, of course, you did not have a load cell the cheap plastic design. Now they did try to throw in uh, the rubber stopper there to give it uh, a little bit tougher feel, a little bit heavier feel to the brake, but it really just didn't work for me. I did not like it. Um, I had previously had a load cell brake back when I had the CST pedals, which lasted me over a decade. And that's really what I'm hoping to get out of the new Fnatic pedals, longevity. I am tired of going through Logitech G920 sets like they're candy. It is, I went through two or three in the last four or five years and I am tired of doing that. I do a lot of sim racing. I do a lot of practicing. I do a lot of testing. And that means I run a lot of laps and put a lot of wear and tear on these pedals. So I'm hoping the Fnatic pedals can last me several, several years, uh, just as the CST pedals did uh, back several years ago. So what do we have coming up today? Well, this is going to be a test race for me. I'm going to need these next several races to serve as test session so that I can get used to the pedals overall, as well as this load cell brake. And Ileana Speedway, where we're headed today, is definitely going to require some braking. Uh, so it's going to give me an opportunity to get sort of a feel for how much do I need to brake, how hard do I need to use the pedal, and so on, because it is a very different feel than what I had with the Logitech G920, and it's definitely going to take some time to get used to it. Now for today, we are running 20%, which equals out to 50 laps. I am very excited. Let's get to racing. Start your engines. There you have it, engines fired, and we are all set. Now we're starting in the rear, 50 laps. Uh, let's see what we got. I'm looking forward to it. Have really no idea of what to expect from the AI. As usual, I'll try to give them a couple of laps here at the beginning to uh, sort it all out. Not a lot of banking here on the track, so we're definitely going to use the brakes, which is good for me because that's going to give me an opportunity. Green flag, green flag. Oh, so we green, take the green, green, green flag. Doing about, what, 25, 30 miles an hour? Okay. Caught me a bit by surprise there. All right, so it looks like they don't use the extreme bottom see if that's a good idea or if maybe that provides oh look out outside maybe that provides me some opportunities to slide by 19.43 so i'm not two. sure i have you know, just no idea about any multiple grooves on this Still track there. there may or may not exist Keep low. all right let's see how well that brake Keep works <laughs> as we just really ram it down on the inside there clear 
Alright, we'll find out what kind of speed we got in practice, if that's any indication. Uh, I was doing okay. Wasn't the fastest guy on the track, but I was doing alright. Called my own. So I'm hoping that gives us some opportunities to move through the field a little bit. Yeah, these new pedals, the resolution is so much better, giving me finer control over the, the throttle as well as the brake, of course. Look out. Stay low. Stay low. Clear outside. Point four. I'm definitely seven, sliding seven, a little bit outside. in the corners here. Clear. So even though outside. I think we've been clear, clear I'm trying to sort of hold it down on outside. the straightaways. Clear. Because it looks like this three, bottom is really four, our only two. shot at making any passes because they are using most of the track. Car Let's move up here a little bit. Let's see, do we have Keep any options up here? Still there. 19.064. Clear. Oh yeah, I like that feel. You get on the gas and it the rear end wants to break loose a little bit. Not quite enough traction for the power you've got. I like it. Now these pedals do have a feature where uh, there is some vibration that can happen if you are, say, locking up a tire under braking. Or same thing, if you're losing traction under throttle. But only certain games will feature that. And of course, in our 2003, is not going to be one of those games. Point one, two, four. Oh yeah, definitely a little loose there. I like it. Nineteen point two two eight. I feel like I can drive it in a lot deeper than I am, but I'm trying not to press my luck too far just yet. Let's get a little, a little more used to the pedals before I start trying those things. Now, for anybody who's been around the, the channel very long and watched me race, you know that as soon as I say stuff like that, if I get an opportunity, I am incredibly likely to really stuff it down in there and try to make it happen. So, clear. Yep, a little loose there. So, gotta find that limit of the throttle when you get back to it on corner exit. But right now we're kind of stuck. I feel like I'm faster Car than these back. guys, but I'm not getting a lot of room to work. Still there. Clear. Welcome to short track one, racing. Nine. It's not just about how fast you are, it's about what room Outside. you can run. Outside. Stay low. Clear outside. 18.873. Little bit too tight on corner exit here. To really be able to get under him and make it happen. Outside. I can get there, but I can't quite get the power down. Clear. 18.78. I jump on it too quick. It just Go wants outside. to spin out. Stay low. So we're going to have to figure that out. Still there. Because obviously, they're going to give me the bottom. You can see Keep these low. guys are drifting way up Clear the track. Outside. Car outside. So the bottom is mine, but it is not easy to get Keep there low. and stay there on corner exit. Still there. But yeah, definitely feeling the better control, the better resolution of the pedals. So I don't just have to go like an on-off switch. Clear. Oh, I was just Outside. feeling good about how well that was turning through the center. Still there. Keep low. Keep low. Yeah, there's that tightness there. Really need that thing to rotate better. A little bit of rotation when I get back Still to there. the throttle. Try to get up here and run, maybe get a little more speed if we can. Out 
outside. All right, now we're behind the seven car. I don't know that that's going to be a good idea. 18.993. All right, Seven, I'm going to need you to go somewhere. 19.048. I want to go high, but then the 46 is right there. So there's not a whole lot of options. Oh, excuse me there, Seven. I'm sorry, my bad. Slow down a little bit more than I was expecting there. 19.139. I was hoping he would go back to the top. It looked like he was staying down there a little bit longer than I expected. Keep high. Keep high. Eighteen point nine eight eight. Day yeah, this is just this is so Clear. much fun. Car and even though I wasn't without pedals for you know, too terribly long, a couple of weeks maybe. Keep high. Clear inside. That's a couple of weeks too long. 19.108. I feel like I'm just creeping along. So much more speed here in this car than what I'm able to get out of it right now. Oh yeah, now that's how we're supposed to come off the corner. Just a little too tight to do what I need to do on corner exit. 18.8. So when you see me spinning the tires and really getting loose on corner exit, that's me pressing the issue. I'm really a bit. Oh, look out. We got somebody who has pulled off the track there. I love that. Started smoking. Alright, there we go. I was wondering what lap we were on. We are halfway. Okay, good. Because that means we've still got some laps. Outside. Keep low. Try to drive it down in there a little bit deeper. Oh, I've got so much wheel in this car. Clear outside. Outside. 18.84. This brake pedal Stay feels low. fantastic. Now, right now, I'm using it at its minimum level. Clear outside. Uh, it's got an car adjuster outside. on it. Still now, there. I did not get any of the mods for it. Uh, to enhance the feel of either the throttle or the brake. I just got the standard packaging, and that's the way I'm using it. I haven't changed anything. I basically unboxed it, hooked it up, and here we are. Car outside. But right now, I've decided to leave the lever at uh, the minimum as far as the resistance the pedal gives me. I would like to go a lot heavier, but right now I'm having the issue of if I give a lot of brake, I can feel the pedals starting to tip over a little bit. So the front end of the pedals are coming up off the ground, so I've seen that a little bit in the, the testing that I've done with these pedals so far. So I've got them requiring the minimum force from me. So hopefully I don't tip these things over during a race. I would love nothing more than to have a rig to attach these to, but right now it's the old traditional. I'm sitting in a chair and they're sitting on the floor. Ooh, hello. Yeah, there you go. Really send it down into corner entry. You hear those tires like, what are you doing? All right, let's see what we can get here with this. I mean, these guys are really arcing it in, diamonding outside. the corner. Clear outside. But I'm having a lot of fun racing these guys. As frustrating as it is to try to get down to the bottom and then hook up the rear tires on exit, that's just short track racing. Car outside. And that frustration is part of the fun Still there. of racing. Still there. Clear. 18.95. Still there. Clear. Car outside. 
Keep low. Clear. 18.837. This guy stays on the bottom. Climbing. That's old Mark Day there. I feel like I might have missed the 10 laps to go signal. I'm in heavy focus here. 19.020. No, Mark Day's coming back up to the top. Thought he might give me a little room to squeeze by him on the high side car as he continues to work on the one car. Still there. Keep low. 18.0. Yeah, this is this is a fun track right here. Keep low. Oh yeah, you can hear me having to work that throttle there. I mean, folks, that's what I find fun. I always talk about in these videos how I prefer the long runs because I prefer it when the car starts to handle, shall we say, less than spectacular. When those tires really start to give up. I have no idea how many laps are left. I feel like he's probably told me. But we're just going to go until they tell us to stop. Yeah, the older the tires get, when they start to wear out, as long as you've got a track that does that, then that's so much fun. You have to change your driving style. Be very careful on the throttle. Those are my favorite tracks to race in. Alright, let's see what this 84 wants to do. Let's see what Mason wants to do. Is he going to give us a little room? Oh, hello. Clear. Not sure what happened there. I didn't think I was into him. Actually, I thought he was to my outside, but that's not how, that is not how it ended up. So we'll back up and we'll try it again. Yeah, I could definitely go in deeper than I have been into the corner. All right, he just told me something about the laps to go. I'm not sure if it was five to go, ten to go, or what. He was telling me something. Oh, excuse me there, 84. My bad, Mason. I'm my, my bad. Can we blame it on the brakes? Is that what we can do? <laughs> Why not? Whatever you do, do not blame it on the person using the brake pedal. We can't do that. That's no fun at all. 18.797. Yeah, the heavier I get on the brake, I'm having to, I can really feel the brakes moving around on the floor underneath me. So it's, that's a little bit disconcerting. Outside. They feel like they're sort of turning sideways on me. Clear. I don't think they actually are. I think it's more or less they're just sort of moving up and down in place, but that's something I'll have to look into. See if maybe I can adjust my foot position or maybe maybe adjust the location a little bit. We'll see. I mean, it's definitely not going to be something that's going to make me dislike the pedals, that's for sure. Outside. Mason's giving me some room here. But right now, I don't quite have the forward drive to get it done on the corner exit. Oh, we got somebody else off the pace. Apparently, 50 laps is just too much. Clear. Car outside. Clear outside. Kind of reminds me of the Chili Willy 150 I was watching. Just cars pulling off the track left and right as that one finished up. All right, we got to be getting down to the end of this thing. So where are we running? We are ooh, top 15. Now, granted, Mason Mingus uh, basically gifted us a position there because with that lap car, he got stuck behind. But top 15, I'll take that. Wait, was that it? Car outside. Clear. 
This thing's telling me checkered flag. Car outside. Should not have been white flag? Or did I miss the white flag? Was I concentrating too much? No, we got the white flag. Alright, there's the checkered flag. Alright, I don't want to stop. Let's just keep going. Y'all want to keep going? Get the heck out of here. <laughs> so let's just keep going. Alright, so as everybody pulls off the track, again, I, I really like the the interesting way that you come on and off the track. It's just a lot of fun. Uh, this track overall, very well done. Again, it's another WKC track. Uh, so Wild Customs, another fantastic the job over. Come on from in. you guys. And I can't get enough of this. I'm ready to do some more. Let's do some more racing right now. Why not? But unfortunately, we're going to have to wait until next time. So that's going to do it for today. Once again, so excited to be back doing these races and cannot wait for the upcoming 2022 season. Let's get it started right now. That's the way I feel about it. But that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for joining me and stick around for more in our 2003.